Hello and welcome to another episode of Kuma's Kitchen. And this week, we've got a nice, delicious chicken and bean soup with walnut pesto. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So I've got here, I've got some uh, nice uh, cannellini beans in here, pieces of chicken, a bunch of other good stuff in there, and that walnut pesto mixed in it in. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I like to eat my soup. Piece of rough bread. So we got chug here, the nice bread I got from a local bakery. I just kind of dip that in there. And mm-mm-mm. <laughs> That's the way. That is delicious. All right, let's go in the kitchen, make some of this right now. All right, the first part we're going to make is the soup. We'll make the pesto afterwards. So for the soup, these are the ingredients across the front. Well, I've got over here one onion chopped. I've got a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of dried sage, one teaspoon of dried rosemary, three cloves of garlic thinly sliced, two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of olive oil. Then over here, that's two cans of cannellini beans, which I rinsed and drained. And then over here, that is about 20 ounces or 560 grams of chicken thighs chopped up into small bite-sized pieces. It doesn't have to be exactly 20 grams, 21 grams, 19 grams, somewhere around there because, you know, chicken thighs come in a certain size. But that's about how much you want. Good, good amount like that. And then across the back here, I've got four cups of chicken stock, or you could use vegetable stock, whichever one of the others is going to work fine. All right. First thing I want to do, I've got the, my big cast iron uh, pot here. I'm going to get the olive oil started in there. Let's bring that up to medium heat. See, that's about right about there. Add that olive oil. All right. Get that heating up a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is get the onions going. So let's get them in there. I want to cook those onions for about five, six minutes just to soften up a bit. Medium heat, stirring every once in a while. We'll see you back here shortly. All right, so the onions have been softened up a bit. So now what I want to do is let's put this off to one side, bring a bowl in here. I want to take the flour and the salt, throw those in here, mix that around a bit, just get the salt throughout the flour. I'm going to toss the chicken in there, just, just lightly dredging it. I mean, there's a lot more chicken than flour, but we just want a little bit. That's going to help thicken up the soup afterwards. So, there we go. Just keep turning it until you coated most of the chicken. At least you, you've got all the flour <laughs> up onto some of the chicken. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to add that chicken in with the onions. And now, what I do is I want to cook that, stirring it occasionally, uh, for about 10 to 12 minutes. I want to get that chicken cooked. And uh, just keep stirring it so that we get even cooking all around. And I'll see you back here, 10, 12 minutes. All right, so that's been cooking away. I've been stirring it occasionally. So I get you know everything evenly cooked. Chicken's looking good. We're not browning it too much. We want to keep kind of a mild color, just like everything else. This is that kind of soup. So this is just perfect. Now, first thing we do is we're gonna take uh, the chicken stock, particulate in there, mix that up. I want to add in a, just some of it. I want to deglaze that bottom because remember we had flour, so that means always we're going to have across the bottom here a bunch that needs to be taken up off the bottom. Yeah, it cooked in a bit. Just kind of give that a scraping around so the liquid just helps it come up as it starts to boil. It brings that up off the bottom. All right, there we go. That's going to make a nice soup. All right, keep adding this. Keep stirring. Scraping that bottom. 
You might always get all of it off, but you want to get as much as you can off the bottom because that's that's a lot of flavor in there. All right. All right, I'm going to add the rest in there. Now, we can add uh, the garlic. We can add the two uh, herbs in there. And the beans. Give that a bit of a stir. What I'm going to do now, got to bring this up to a simmer. That's going to take a couple minutes. And once it comes up to a simmer, I want to simmer that for about 10 minutes. All right, be back in a little bit. We're going to make the pesto. See you then. All right, so I've been stirring this every once in a while. It's been simmering away. It's looking really nice. What we want to do now, okay, that's still got about a minute or so to go yet. Now it's time to make the pesto. So for the pesto, what I've got here, well, across the front, I've got a quarter teaspoon of salt. I've got three cloves of garlic crushed. I've got a, about a quarter cup of chopped up parsley, fresh parsley. And then over here, I've got a half a cup of walnut pieces and then two tablespoons of olive oil. So let's get the uh, walnuts in here. Let's get the salt in here. Let's get that parsley in there. Let's chop up the dry ingredients first and we'll add in the, the wet. Obviously I want the uh, walnuts to be kind of like big heavy grains of sand. That's about good right there. So now I'm going to ch chuck in that garlic. Make sure we get all that garlic in there. Give that a quick blast. And then with it running, I'm going to drizzle in the olive oil. And there we go. We've got our pesto. All right. What we need now is, oh, what we need is our little plastic spatula, right? And that is not here right now. I've got to go grab it. There we go, little plastic spatula. What do I want to do now? Get that out of there. Just uh, give it a quick mix around. Looks like there's some olive oil still sitting out, so we get it mixed in. And there we go, we got a bit of pesto. That's gonna be nice. We can turn that off now. Let's give that a quick stir. Mmm, that's looking good. Gonna add that pesto. All right, that's gonna be delicious. There we go. And then, just gonna dissolve that in there. Oh, I can just, I can smell it already. All right, just wanna make sure we don't get any chunks of pesto because it's gonna break up a bit. There's a piece right there, so break that up. Okay, that's looking good. That's ready for dinner. All right, if you like this recipe for uh, chicken and bean soup with walnut pesto, well, stick around, check out the channel. There's a lot more original Kevin Riley recipes right here on the Kuma's Kitchen channel. Also make sure that you are subscribed and you've clicked that notification bell so you can check out the new ones when they come up. Now go make this delicious soup and make your fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.